Namaskar my dear brothers and sisters and my respected elder ones. Today I, Sneha Sisterji, in my YouTube channel Future Politics of India, want to talk with you on a new matter. And last weeks, from last three or four weeks, I was talking about nationalism, the power of nationalism, importance, significance of nationalism, some dimensions of nationalism, and also motivations by nationalism, uh, such things. Today's matter is going to be something different and this matter is going to be identity crisis. Uh, many of us are not related to this term, clearly related to this term because um, this term is not so much popular in politics or others but this term is very much important for us. You may say it a problem, you may say it a disease. Yes, this is also a disease, identity crisis. Is me you uh, think about Alzheimer? Uh, this is uh, a medical term or uh, disease, Alzheimer. But identity crisis in politics, in future politics of India, is something different from Alzheimer. Not totally Alzheimer. We are not forgetting who we are. Literally, by identity crisis in politics. I am not going to be uh, medical term or um, uh, some literal term. In politics. Uh, we are by identity crisis we cannot mean that we are forgetting ourselves we are forgetting our parents name we are forgetting our names we know our names but many a times we can find in our society many people who are forgetting their culture who are forgetting their nationalism who are forgetting mother india and their background their history and this is identity crisis not only forgetting their history, their duties, their tomorrow, our tomorrow. If we forget our tomorrow, if we forget our responsibilities, then we are suffering from this very much bad disease, identity crisis. We are in a crisis. Then we are in a crisis. Yes, obviously we, all of us do not suffer from this disease. But if we suffer from this disease, then many problems will arrive in our life. As an example, I can say that if we suffer from identity crisis, then in our future, we cannot be a responsible human, responsible Indian. To become a responsible Indian, to become a social person, we should know, we should recognize ourselves and that is the solution of identity crisis. How it is related to politics? I must say that briefly, politics is the utmost solution of identity crisis. Yes, politics is the utmost solution of identity crisis. When we are entering politics, may we have some fears, some fears from social life, but politics is the great call of unity, the great call of our passion, and also politics is to take a Take an oath. Take an oath to serve our country, our countrymen. And this is politics. And if we fear from politics, then we may have identity crisis. Many of us fear from politics. It doesn't mean that everyone have identity crisis. But some persons fear from politics, fear from social life, fear from becoming social. They think that they are not social. They think that they are something different. No, we are not different. We are not different. If we think that I am leader and that's why I am different from common people, if, if I think that I am uh, in some high chairs and if I think that I am different, then I am suffering from identity crisis. Why am I different? I am that person which is uh, my countryman. I am like my countrymen. Like my 135 crore countrymen and that's why they are my brothers and sisters. If anyone think that I am the guardian of uh, all of my countrymen, no, you are not. We are not. Yes, uh, many times you can coincide this matter with uh, dictatorship. That dictators are also uh, suffering from identity crisis. Uh, it is not totally true that dictators suffer from identity crisis, but many times dictators suffer from this. That they cannot think they are themselves, that they are like countrymen. They think that they are something different. A leader should not think 
that I am something different. May he be a dictator. I am not a clear opponent of a dictatorship or others. And uh, that is another matter. But common people may think that the leader is something different. But the leader cannot think that I am something different. When a leader, when a politician, when a person thinks that I am something different, he may think that in my um, heart, in my thoughts, something different potential have. But when he is thinking that I am something different from common social life, I will not spend common social life. I will not spend um, uh, my life in the soil of my country. If anyone is thinking that uh, my life is not to serve my country, then he is suffering from this identity crisis. And to abolish this identity crisis, we should take the oath of nationalism, take the oath of Indianism, as I was talking about um, in my last video on Independence Day of India. So this is all about identity crisis. We can describe it very briefly, but this matter is not so brief. This matter is very much big. And it is a very bad problem. It, it may uh, cause many sufferings in our life that when we are suffering from identity crisis we can suffer from ego ego problem you may be related to this term we may suffer from hypocrisy which is very much bad in uh, politics in social life in country life in a life of a leader as i have said that in every person's life in every person's uh, heart Inside every person there is a leader. We have to find the leader. When we can recognize the leader, we are not suffering from that identity crisis. When we are recognizing that inside myself there is a leader. And being a countryman, being a common person, I can be that leader. Then we should think that we are not suffering from identity crisis. If we can recognize the leader inside us. The leader may lead the country, the leader may lead our life, but there is a leader inside everyone and that's why politics for all. If everyone attains political thoughts, politics is the great, greatest philosophy. It is a combination of philosophy and science and mathematics, everything. And if anyone can recognize this politics, then he has no fear of identity crisis and that's why i was saying that politics is the utmost solution of identity crisis why i am saying about uh, ego problem and identity crisis also hypocrisy um, and also another thing you may have learned about or uh, heard about um, kong Sho, the greatest dictator you may say or um, a very bad person we know. We know that Kong Sho was a very bad person. I am saying about Kong Sho in uh, Mahabharat. Um, so, when we are thinking about Kong Sho or other persons like this, or may we are thinking about Ravon, these persons thought that we are the God. If anyone is thinking that I am the God, I can do everything. Yes, human can do everything. But they are thinking that I have created all people. I am the father of all people. I am the guardian of all people. No. We are not the guardian. We are brothers and sisters. This is also our motive. Means mother India's motive. That's why we say. Moshid We all are brothers and sisters. And that is the main solution of identity crisis. And if we cannot solve it. We cannot find the solution of identity crisis. It may lead to hypocrisy and hypocrisy may lead to terrorism which we can find now in Afghanistan. Now in Afghanistan by Taliban. I think we are, all have heard about Taliban, about uh, their works um, and their dictatorship. This is also not dictatorship. I'm, I was saying that this is dis dictatorship. I, this video is not about Taliban, but as I was talking about Taliban, then I must say, but this is not dictatorship. Dictatorship is that thing which we think that we can understand. We can make understand the country people, the countrymen. But 
Talibans or these terrorists do not make understand, do not um, think about politics for all. That's why they kill uh, women and others. They do not support politics for all. So they are not dictators even. They are only terrorists. We can call them only terrorists. But this video is not about Talibans. This video is about identity crisis. And as a result of identity crisis, we can find this type of hypocrites, hypocrites like terrorists or ego problems. In social life, we can find many persons who are suffering from this type of ego problems that they think that I am the almighty, I am the most powerful person in the world, I can do everything. So if anyone thinks so, then he is uh, going to terrorism. Identity crisis strongly leads to terrorism. So we should abolish identity crisis, we should do away with identity crisis in our future, in our future politics of India. And that's why this video is created. We should abolish this because identity crisis is a maybe a great problem of for India for the world even and not maybe will be if identity crisis in any person then it will be a great problem in any person for India for the world I'm saying I'm hitting on these words so please try to recognize yourself try to recognize your background Try to recognize your social life. Try to recognize your duties. We should recognize our duties. We are not except um, some exceptions. We are not some exceptions. We are human. We are Indian. We are Indianists. And that is our ultimate identity. This identity we should bear with. May you say why, when and this type of questions. Not when, why. I think for nationalism, no, why is needed? May I am saying about a blind nationalist? No. If you say that, why? Why I should think that my ultimate identity is I am Indian? Cannot I think that I am human, I am a person of this world? Yes, you can think, we can think, but we should start from our home and our home is India. That's why I say that. We should at first think that we are Indian. Yes, we are obviously human. We should have humanity. Also, beside that, we should have Indianism. We should be Indianists. And that's why we should do away with identity crisis. The solution of identity crisis is the nationalism. The nationalism which is in every Indian, which is in every countryman. We can think something different. We can think something innovative, but we should think in that way. We should think for that way, which will help our countrymen. We should think for our countrymen, not only for me. That will cause ego problem and others, but for our countrymen. And that is the main motive of politics also. And I used many words like uh, hypocrites and I... Sometimes I talked about Talibans and others. I am going to make videos on hypocrites also. Uh, means hypocrisy which is also a very much a problem of um, politics. And also sometimes hypocrisy may be good for politics. But in many times hypocrisy is very much bad for politics. Bad for our social life. Bad for, a, bad for an Indian. In many times. Sometimes it may help and that is an exception. But I am going to discuss on hypocrisy on my uh, other videos. I am going to make videos on that. Uh, today this much is about identity crisis and we should take this oath that we will abolish identity crisis. We won't have identity crisis. We should think who we are, what is our background. We will think that we are the sons and daughters of Mother India. And that is our ultimate identity. Namaskar. No